mozzarella. In fact, last year, the average American ate nearly 11 pounds of mozzarella cheese. I mean, body by cheese have we got. And Jack is here to tell us which supermarket brand of mozzarella should top our pizzas. So this is a really <laughs> interesting taste test. We shredded all the cheeses. Some of them started out as a block. One of them might have already come as shredded. Interesting. So you can dig in. Okay. Um, you may want to just use your fingers. There's no great way to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, we did do a test with pizza. The pizza is not here. I noticed that. Yeah. A couple things that we're going to pay attention to. One is, uh, is there any dryness? Now, we brought the best of the seven shredded cheeses, but all the shredded cheeses are coated with cellulose, and it gives it a little dryness to keep the shreds from clumping. So can you pick that out? Okay. Second thing is fat level. Some of these are whole milk, and some of them are part skim. Whole milk cheeses have closer to 48% fat level. Uh, the parts game is closer down to 42 or 43% fat. And you can tell the difference in the richness. It also will affect how they melt. Uh, the whole milk cheeses melt really lovely. Mm -hmm. The last thing is moisture content. Most of these cheeses are labeled low moisture, which means they have between 45 and 52% moisture content. But our two favorites were not labeled low moisture. And when we did some lab work, it turns out they're somewhere in between what I think of as pizza cheese, which is a low moisture mozzarella, and that fresh stuff that you might put on a salad. The moisture content there would be about 60%. Interesting. So, anything you're noticing off the bat about these three lovely samples of, <laughs> you know, shredded cheese? Well, this one, I feel like you put baby Swiss in there instead. Uh, it tastes sharper. Um, um, and it's very interesting. Good interesting? I'm trying to figure out if it's a ringer. <laughs> Am I at the right cheese tasting? Would I do that to you? You know, it's not a bad cheese. I wouldn't call it mozzarella, though. Um, this one is the pre-shredded. I can feel it, powderiness on my tongue. Having said that, sometimes I'm really busy. I love having an option of pre-shredded cheese. Yeah, and you're not going to eat it out of a bowl like this. Oh, I probably would, but <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Once it's melted, I'm not sure that I would notice it. This is beautiful. It's creamy, it's soft, and it's nicely seasoned, too. It's definitely my favorite. Okay, all right. I can, all right. You, know, you want to see how you did? I do. Congratulations. You chose the winner. Yes. This is the Palio Whole Milk. Uh, it was a block cheese. Now, the studio audience, this was not their favorite. Interesting. Which was interesting, but the expert panel, this was their favorite. And I love how neutral and creamy. It's got a little bit of seasoning. High moisture, high fat. It's a good cheese. I'm going to check all the way down here and see if this is pre-shredded. You got this right. All right. Uh, this is also from Palio. It's the whole milk, but it's pre-shredded. And honestly, if you look at it, it kind of looks like it was shredded by a machine, yes. not by somebody with a box grater. It's so true. And definitely not by me. That's way too perfect. Uh, and let's check out this baby Swiss that I think you threw in there. So this is from Organic Valley. Huh. Um, the studio audience loved this. Our expert panel, I think, was downgrading it because it tasted different than the other cheeses. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's sharp. It's funky. Right, uh, right. And I guess this is a funky audience. You guys uh, are funky. <laughs> you know, they, they like funky cheese, but it's really not conforming uh, to the classic flavor profile of a mozzarella cheese. Right, it's almost cheddar-y. Well, there you go. To top your pizza, pick up our winner. It's the Palio Whole Milk Mozzarella Cheese. It runs $5.99 per pound. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>